Hello everyone and welcome to Soviet Republic Workers and Resources. I am very happy to finally start playing this game again. It feels it has been ages. I bought it back in 2020 just after the start of the big event that shook us all and I loved it immediately. I played it for close to 180 hours but since it was still in early access back then I decided to wait for the end product. And here it is. Well, it has been here for almost two months. And I'm kind of late, but better late than never. Now, I definitely plan to do some playthroughs, but I have an interesting idea to start with first. And that is to play the tutorials. Four years ago when I played the game for the first time, there weren't any... And the game was very difficult to understand with all its complex systems. And I'm curious how helpful the tutorials that the team created will be. Also, I definitely need to refresh my memory and learn all the new mechanics they added for version 1.0. Alright, let's start. First, I already checked that they added a few more settings here and there and I changed whatever I deemed necessary. Other than that, I just want to say how much I love this uh, industrial art. It's the best. And let's jump right into it. Basic tutorial. Our first tutorial. Oh, we have hints, the GK has the interface. We have pictures from the Soviet Union. Amazing. I'm curious if I will see something from my own country. But let's see what happens with time. Slovakia. Okay, hold, hold control key while rotating the buildings for more precise rotation. I will do that. The loading time seems fairly big for a tutorial but i can take it parents can't work if you don't have kindergartens for their children yeah are you listening to this uh, local government <laughs> and here we are build a residential building at the marked position okay um but wait 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 game settings no uh Graphics? No. General. Uh, I saw that you can resize the GUI. Custom GUI size. Oh! 85. Oh, so that's the biggest? Ah, no. Aha. Okay, I think this one works better for me. 115. Can we do more? No, that's it. Okay, I think this one was much, much better now. Okay, controls are with the WASD keys. I already switched this one. And I'm turning the screen with Q and A. I can see with the out, you can move uh, the viewpoint as well. You have the zoom. And that's it. Ah, if you press control, zooms out and zooms in in a... With a smaller gradient shift i'm not sure shift does anything at the moment all right so let's see oof okay residential building oh i think there is more than before let's brief up okay let's put this one here uh okay so this the mouse wheel is what I'm using for turning it around. Good job. Thank you. Draw the infrastructure as it's marked on the scene. Yes, boss. Good job. I know. Draw the infrastructure as it's marked on the scene. More. Uh, okay, but which one this time? Ah, more vault. Okay. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think things have improved on the road construction. Build a bus platform at the highlighted position. Something like this. What is the highlighted position here, right? Select the correct. Ah, okay. This was bus platform. Small. There we go. Everything happens extremely quickly. 
Check if the bus platform is reachable by citizens from the residential building. Click on the bus platform. Okay, so this is going to be a very important button. Now close all windows to make the scene more visible. Make a shorter route between the bus platform and the residential building. Yeah, of course we need to do that. Why do we have to make the whole way through the road? Good work, comrade. Thank you, comrade. Build a food factory. Sure. How do I close this? Or oh, I cannot close it. Aha, uh -huh, like this. Food. Food factory. Ah, so now if I have a building selected, the mouse wheel is for turning the building, but with the shift, I can actually zoom in and out, which is good to know. Good work, comrade. Again, thank you. Build a bus platform near the food factory. Wait. Ah, there is instructions. Rotate building 90 degrees. Okay, cool. Scroll route, rotate building. Left control, show, rotate, disable auto connections. A slow rotate, disable auto uh, connections. Oh yeah, actually it does. It does uh, rotate slower if you press control and left shift, zoom. Yeah, okay, so everything is actually in the instructions, which is super cool because seriously, in the beginning, you had to figure everything out or read the instructions in the steam page or just find people to explain it to you on forums and stuff you're doing great comrade more road good work comrade build a road vehicles depot yeah in this game you need to build everything nothing comes pre-built road vehicles depot so I have a smaller and a bigger one, but for today we are going to use this one. Good work, comrade. Thank you. Buy a bus that can transport workers. Ah, from the depot, of course. Ooh, we have all the buses and everything else here. Did I see a crane? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do the tutorial. <laughs> Vanilla items. Oh, and they have filters and oh, that's amazing. They have improved on this so much. Open the window for the vehicle and pin it. Windows usually close if you click outside of them, but if you pin a window, it will not close. Yeah, like most games, if you click outside. Windows are also pinned automatically when you move them. Amazing. I'm kind of used to this mechanic from Transport Fever. This auto pinning behavior can be changed in game settings. I don't think I will change it though. Oh, did I fuck up? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, let's pin it. Set up a schedule for the bus. Yeah, I guess it's going to be from here to here, right? Excellent, Lenin would be proud. Ha! <laughs> Launch it. Yeah, so now it's going to move. Can we follow it? Yes, we can. Yeah, but I cannot turn the screen around, I guess. Wait for workers to start working in the factory. Option no speed up time. Good work, comrade. Thank you, comrade. Purchase input resources for the factory. I think I remember this mechanic was from before. Auto purchase. If a month is less than a month, the resources will automatically be purchased to equal this amount. Yeah, this is from before. Uh, how much? Okay. Ah, okay, I understand, so... You're doing great, comrade. Now close all windows to make the scene more visible. Perfect work, comrade! You see, we are perfect. Build a road to the food factory. With pleasure. You're doing great, comrade. Build a grocery store. Ah, so we are going to produce food and bring it to the grocery store. Kind of makes sense. These are the essentials. You're doing great. I was just doing perfect. Now I'm just doing great. Buy a covered hell vehicle. That will be for the food. What is this? Ah, that's a... Skins? Paint? Yeah! Oh! 
perfect. Ah, now it's perfect again. Open and pin it. There we go. Perfect work. Good work. Which one is it? Okay, so... Uh, make sure it goes to the food factory. Good job. And now it has to come here, right? Make sure it goes to the grocery store. Yep. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. I already know that. Perfect work. Yeah. I already know what to do. <laughs> I have played the game. Now, close all windows to make the scene more visible. Build an empty residential building. One more? Why do we need more? Uh, ah, oh. Empty, so don't get citizens. I get it, I get it. So these controls here are important. Uh, which one was this one? This one. Invite at least 70 immigrants into this building. Oh, so we're playing with immigrations already. And they just became more expensive. 10. 70. We are doing great. I remember this. Oh, I think they have... I think this is new. Build an empty residential building. Okay. Another one. So, just hovering is the same as clicking. No, because I deselected it. Okay. Good job. Move residents from one building to the new building. I allocate up to 10 citizens to residential building you select. Excellent. That's all for this tutorial. Oh! That's everything? Okay, cool stuff. Oh, I missed the last <laughs> message. Anyway, I think that that will be everything from this tutorial as the game set. So, before you go, don't forget to like the video so that more people can find it. And subscribe if you want to be notified for the future videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.